Welcome back. Right now we're here with Dr. Robert Kaufman from Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center. We've got some tips. I'm um, going to always want to keep you healthy and all that good stuff. So um, I know we got some stuff coming up tomorrow that you guys are doing. Tell us a little bit about you know, what, what's, what's coming up tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow is our next installment of the Community Medical School at Texas Tech University Health Science Center. It'll be at 530 at the School of Pharmacy. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about a controversial issue okay. uh, this time. We're going to talk about the effects of estrogen on the brain. For many years, um, uh, women have been told by both physicians and the media that postmenopausal estrogen was more harm than good. We're going to turn that around. Those studies had a lot of deficiencies, and we now know that there may be a role for preservation of neurological function and memory mm -hmm. in those who, who take estrogen after menopause. Okay. And we're going to look at that. So mm -hmm. is this something that we've discussed before? How, how important is this? I mean, is this an issue we keep coming back to, or is this relatively new? Well, the studies from the, the 2000s, especially the Women's Health Initiative and another study called the HER study, uh, suggest that estrogen may be harmful to women postmenopausally. Uh, now we're going to take a look at the newer studies and some of the sub studies that say that in newly menopausal women mm -hmm. and those who take lower doses, that estrogen may help cognition, it may help memory and other uh, physical functions such as cardiovascular disease. And uh, so we're going to try to set the record straight and, and take a sec second fresh look at some of these studies that will be coming out. Okay. And for, for women that may be att attending this, it is, is it open to the, to the public? What, you know, can anyone just come and, and listen? You bet it's free. All right. Uh, that, that's what we public, like to hear. Starting about 5.30, uh, then the lecture starts at 6. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so are there, is there anything that women can do after they hear some tips from you guys or just some, some new information kind of turning the tables around? Is there anything that they can do um, to maybe help this or, you know, help their memory or anything okay. like that? Oh, lots of things. You've got to stay healthy. You've got to right. exercise. I know you were talking about that earlier today. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, eat right. And, and, uh, and there may be a role for estrogen in postmenopausal women, but it's just part of the, the lifestyle change that's it's so important. Right, lifestyle changes. That's what it's all about, right? Mm -hmm. There's lots of different aspects that that can help with. Exactly. And keep exercising your mind. Stay active. Uh, right. Both that's mentally what... and physically. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else? And this is happening. Um, at Texas Health Health Sciences Center, um, where and maybe is there anywhere online that people can go for some more information or just to get some other updates from you guys? I think if you look at ttuhsc.edu um, and I think Amarillo, uh, there should be some uh, information about that. Visit 5:30 tomorrow night at the School of Pharmacy. Okay, great. And is there anything else coming up that you guys um, would like anybody to know about, or is there some other information that women would want to know about going into this? In this Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about some resources tomorrow night, so uh, um, hopefully people will come. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Well, thanks so much for being here with us today. Again, mm -hmm. that's happening tomorrow night at 5.30, so make sure you don't miss that. If you want some more information, you can, of course, go online to TTUHSC News or, or follow them on Twitter as well. Um, of course, don't go away. We'll be right back after the break with a check of your bus stop forecast with meteorologist Tony Durden. People who are overweight sedentary and over middle age. Thank you. I'm sorry. Glucose like, is the ooh, main ooh, source of energy for body Here, we'll cells. Okay. When blood sugar levels rise, as is normal after a meal, the pancreas gland located behind the stomach secretes the hormone insulin. Insulin enters and circulates in the blood.